A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I want A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, learn a phrase, learn something new every day, learn the A plus way. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Laura. And we're talking all about Amsterdam. Can no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're wearing that. <laughs> I thought we were talking about great food, right? Yes. Yesterday we did mention about they have lots of great food in Ireland. Yes. Are we so going to talk about it today? I do. I have a question for you. Okay. What is your favorite way to eat your favorite potatoes and why? Oh my gosh, favorite. You know what? I love all kinds of potato dishes. Mm -hmm. For example, mashed potatoes and oh, do you know this? Shepherd's pie. Uh, yes. I oh like my gosh. That as well. Definitely at the top of my list. I miss Yummy. shepherd's pie in case you guys don't know it's a yummy dish made with layers of minced yummy. meat like beef or lamb mixed with vegetables topped with mashed potatoes your favorite oh my oh gosh, my gosh. <laughs> wow and baked until it's golden delicious right oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm getting hungry I know. already my stomach is growling already yeah. and what about okay oh i think this one you might like mm -hmm. crispy french fries oh, of course what do you think? who does not like yeah. french fries right i try to limit them since they're not the healthiest option though. I know. Unfortunately, all these things fried are good, but not the healthiest for you. Okay. But it's okay. You can have other healthy potato dishes. Exactly. There are many Baked ways potatoes. to eat potatoes. How's potato. that? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And with lots of butter. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, cheese. Oopsies. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Well, we're going to learn a bit more about Dublin, this amazing okay. city. So let's take a look. Discovering Dublin, the heart of Ireland. Warm up question. What is your favorite way to eat potatoes? Why? When you're hungry, try some potato dishes. In Ireland, potatoes are an important food. People prepare them in different ways, such as baking, frying, and stewing. Also, Guinness is the famous dark beer from Dublin. If you want to try something sweet, go to Butler's Chocolates. It sells all kinds of chocolate. You can even have a cup of hot chocolate or coffee there. All right, let's take a look at our article. And of course, when you're visiting a new country, you want to try their food. So the article says, when you're hungry, try some potato dishes. In Ireland, potatoes are an important <gasps> food. Yes, my I think, country. I think Go you'll to love country. this very much. But you know, actually, there's a history behind the potato <gasps> in Ireland as well. Oh, I'm dying to find out. I'm a potato lover and a couch potato. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's not a very, very happy thing. Thing, though oh. because a long time ago the Irish suffered from something called a famine oh. meaning that they had a shortage of food mm -hmm. yeah and then they had a shortage of potatoes as well so it led to a lot of people suffering oh. but luckily they overcame that mm -hmm. and the potato for them also symbolizes hardship and also prosperity oh which is wealth as well. Nice, I didn't know this. Why are you so smart? You're oh such gosh. a history buff. I know, right? It's like oh one my of my gosh. favorite subjects. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's why I like passed it. And you did too, right? I know, right? Okay, well, the potato is an important part of Irish culture. So here in the article says, people prepare them in different ways, such as baking, frying, and stewing. So I love fried potatoes, AKA French fries, mm -hmm. yum. Not healthy, okay. No. Some other potato dishes though you guys can try is, like I said, um, they mentioned baking, right? So like yeah. baked potatoes. I love that. Oh my gosh. And also frying, which is like what you said, French fries. Yes. Or what about hash browns? Oh my God, I love oh that too. Oh my gosh, too. yummy. What about tater tots? Have oh, you had those yes, before? So like yes. tiny, tiny Super, hash browns. Super, I love so those. Good. Oh my gosh. Okay, what about, so stewing, I, oh, there you go. Irish stew, oh, right? Yummy. That's yummy. And also potato and leek soup. Yum. <laughs> can you please so cook hungry. some for me? Me. Okay, I'm so I hungry. Will. 
I can also make. Well, if you don't really have the chance to do right. like Irish cooking, you can right. also like cook, I guess, potatoes and Japanese yeah. curry too. Oh Still very yummy. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> stop talking about it. I okay, can okay, hear okay, my okay. stomach growling. All right, then I'll switch topics. Okay. The article says also Guinness is the famous mm. dark beer from Dublin. Okay, have you ever had a Guinness before? Yep, Guinness beer is like a dark and creamy stout with a rich flavor,、mm. right? And it's it's kind of like roasted barley with、yeah. hints of coffee and chocolate. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth and like velvety. Yeah, it's so yin different yin from、though. like a normal beer. Yeah. So like, I know some people don't like it because、no. like it has a very rich flavor, but、yeah. I think it's pretty good. Okay, here on the article it says, if you want to try something sweet, <gasps> go to Butler's <gasps> Chocolate. Oh my god, I, I love Butler's Chocolate. Oh my god, and I、yummy. love chocolate. Okay,、oh、in god, general.、Yummy. Yes. Right. Okay. What what do they have there? Then、mm-hmm. the article says it sells all kinds of chocolate. <gasps> You can、Go、even have.、Place. I know. You can even have a cup of hot chocolate or coffee there. Wow! Yummy. Okay. We see like all kinds of, and just means many different types. Like maybe they might have dark chocolate,、oh、milk chocolate, white chocolate, just to name a few. Oh, I love milk chocolate the most. I think because like I think white chocolate sometimes they can be so sweet. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I dark, dark chocolate, chocolate. I would totally. Like, Some of、yeah. it's like perfect. I, know, I love it. I think it's healthier. Yeah, I heard. It I heard. Makes you skinnier. Yeah, I think it's good for memory. I think. After you're full, head to the Gaiety Theater to see the River Dance Show. It's a really exciting Irish step dance show. You can see the dancers' cool footwork and high energy. What are you waiting for? Let's go to Dublin this month. Okay. Not talk. Don't talk about food. I'm getting hungry. I know. Me too. Okay. Don't worry. We can switch from food to something else. Okay. It's actually okay. a really cool part of Irish culture. Uh huh. It says here, after you're full, head to the Gaiety Theater to see the River Dance Show.、Oh. I don't know if you know. What's <laughs> <laughs> exactly? Okay. okay. Yeah, that's what I think of too. So when you're full, it's talking about like your stomach being full, full of food.、Mm. Besides, um, you, besides saying I'm full, you can say I'm stuffed.、Oh. I'm stuffed to the gills, or、mm-hmm. you can even say, "I can't take another bite." I love that one.、Mm-hmm. Or what、it's、about、so、that phrase? I'm in a food coma. Oh my, oh my gosh! gosh. Oh、like、my god! It's like a food coma is like when you feel super sleepy and tired after eating a lot of food. I think it happens to us a lot. All the time. time. We、um, wherever we go and eat out, we're always like, your body wants to take a nap、yeah. because you're so full, and we get that a lot. So.、Oops. It's always like, especially after if we go and eat, oh, you can eat buffet. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! Oops! You go like you really have to take a taxi home to nap. <laughs> Probably <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately. That's so funny.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so yes, river dance like what Laura was doing. What's that word? Dang, it's really hard actually.、Mm-hmm. Here in the article says it's a really exciting Irish step dance show.、Mm. Okay, so yeah, like Laura was doing Irish tap dancing. It's very famous. What's that word? Yeah, they have like these、uh, these special shoes and it. It's a kick, 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 kick sound. I love it. Yeah, I don't know if you remember this, but there was a、uh-huh. show called River Dance and Lord of the Dance. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I remember her. <laughs> that was so popular. Tony Wei. Yeah, it was so popular when、mm-hmm. I was a kid,、mm. and it made Irish tap dancing look super cool. I remember I, I used to like me and my. I actually told my mom to buy me tap dance shoes. Oh my gosh! And like I would wear them at home and be like. <laughs> Did you? I think my mom would, really know no, how. No, I took. I think I took one tap dance class, and then I was like, oh, I don't want to learn anymore. So.、Oh. Like, Oh my gosh! I just like blind tail at all. It's、home. not that easy. And,、yeah. uh, and oh, speaking of traditional Irish step dancing, that seems incredibly challenging. I doubt I could master it perfectly. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. I think it's really hard. We'll just hard. watch them do exactly. We'll just like oh my gosh, or we can just like do our own style. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the article says you can see the dancers' cool footwork and high energy.、Mm-hmm. So this is what step dance is. It's very similar to tap dance, where、um, everything is focused. Focused on your feet. Now, when we talk about footwork, it just means the focus is mainly on the dancer's foot. Okay, you can't see our feet right now, but then, yeah, they dance and their their feet are like. I know it's these, really. Like, really and they do like kicks and stuff. I love it. It's it, impressive. It's actually really good. I like <laughs> it's it. It's like how fast they can move、yeah. their feet and how lively they are on stage. And they usually wear colorful clothing、yeah. as well. It's like and, cool. I like that. And like Riverdance and Lord of the Dance told a story about、uh, <gasps> oh Celtic、gosh. culture. It was I know. So cool. 
so good. You should Google this, guys. It's guys. super cool. Okay. All right. So lastly, the article says, "What are you waiting for? Yeah. Let's go to Dublin this month. Let's go. Yes, this and month. I think the weather should be perfect too. Oh my gosh, right? I celebrate my birthday. Cold. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yes. And we'll do like Irish tap dancing. Okay, and celebrate. Dentist. I know. <laughs> Can and you imagine potatoes and so chocolate? Oh yeah, potatoes. Can we do favorite. that? Yes. Okay. Well, now it's my what? solo, so pay Ooh. attention while we plan our trip. Yes. And I want to like eat this. Okay. okay. Oh, this like, this looks good. Put the work. 我跟 Tiffany 已经太兴奋，我们要赶快准备去玩了。提到了准备，你知道它的英文怎么说吗？就是 prepare 这个动词。For example, every morning I prepare a quick and healthy breakfast before heading to work. 每天早上，因为我现在很早起了啦，在上班前我都会准备一个非常快速而且健康的早餐。My gosh, why am I so healthy? 再来呢，单词例句提到的是 Heather prepared egg salad and put it on. Bread to make sandwiches. Heather 也很健康，她准备了鸡蛋沙拉，然后把它放在面包上做成三明治。还有就是 beer， 你们十八岁以后可以喝的啤酒，它是一个名词。For example, during the barbecue, we enjoyed the warm weather with friends and had a cold beer. 哇，在烧烤的，就是 barbecue 的时候，烤肉，我们跟朋友一起享受这个温暖的天气，然后喝着冰冰凉凉的啤酒。<笑>然后单词例句提到的是 ，You can't drink beer before the age of eighteen in Taiwan. 真的，在台湾未满十八岁不能喝啤酒哦。那刚刚提到 exciting 这个形容词就是刺激的、令人兴奋的。For example, going on a roller coaster for the first time was an exciting experience that made my heart race. 第一次坐这个云霄飞车是一个哇，令人感到很兴奋的经验，让我心跳加速。还有单词例句提到的是 ，That movie was not exciting at all. I almost fell asleep. 我懂哎，那部电影一点都不精彩，我差点睡着。还有 energy 这个名词就是活力。For example, after a good night's sleep, I wake up full of energy and ready to face the day. 我常常觉得，如果睡了一夜的好觉的话，醒来就会充满活力。准备迎接新的一天。Or after a long day at work, Olivia had no energy. She went to bed. Olivia 在工作一整天之后精疲力尽，然后呢就去睡觉了。好了，那我们今天有提到 all kinds of 这个 phrase， 就是片语，就是各式各样的。For example, when I go to the grocery store, I can find all kinds of fruits and vegetables. 当我去超市的时候，我可以找到各式各样的水果和蔬菜。还有呢，当我们在口语提到 head to 一个地方，就是指前往某处这个片语哦。For example, after work, I usually head to the park to relax and enjoy some fresh air. 下班后，我通常就会前往公园放松一下，然后享受一些新鲜的空气。我真的是很养生诶。Anyways， 接下来要认真听喽，因为是我们的 review time game。I'm so ready for Dublin. I know. I'm all prepared. Oh, is that、oh, our work hour?、Oh, that is.、Mm. Oh my gosh! Why are you so smart?、Mm. Okay, so we're gonna do a review time、right? before we go to Dublin. Yeah. So Laura did、uh, give you a word prepare. Yes, and, and it means、else? like to like 准备 do something、right? ahead. Get、yes. ready. We also have the word beer. Ooh,、okay. but、Pijo. unfortunately, that's something you can't drink no, until 18. you're eighteen. Okay, we have the word exciting.、Ooh. It's an adjective, and then we have the word energy. Ooh,、uh, okay. okay, I get it. Okay, all right. So shall we play fill, fill in the blanks? blanks? Oh, oh my god, cheese! Oh, oh, oh my god, cheese! Oh my god, cheese! Does that、gosh. mean like we're very lucky? I know. Oh my god. Okay, 赶快许愿 Okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Well then. I'm gonna give you guys a sentence, and、okay. you try to guess the word in the blank. Okay. Okay. You shouldn't drink blank if you're underage. Ah, this is so simple. Okay. 
Is it beer? Yes, of course.、Uh-huh. Because alcohol isn't good for young kids. Of oh, course, it's not. No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> okay. Yeah, too much of it is not. Okay.、Uh, next, Kevin has a lot of blink now because he drank three cups of coffee. That's not healthy as well.、Mm-hmm. But he, I think he's probably very high. Energy. Yes. Okay. Good. Next.、Um, Mom started to blink for Christmas dinner by cutting up all the vegetables. Oh, okay. What do you need to do if you have a? 切菜就是要准备晚餐嘛，对不对 ？So、mm-hmm. prepare. That's right.、Mm. Okay. Last one. Let me think. Ah. It is so blank to go to Universal Studios and to go on all the rides.、Oh、Harry、gosh. Potter ride. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry、yes. Potter. Now there's Mario. Oh Mario. my god. Yeah. Mario, I've also gone. So fun. And then there's Jurassic Park. This、like、Jurassic Park is very exciting. Because it's a roller coaster. And I remember it's like face down, right? I'm very excited because I really want to go to Universal Studios. But my boyfriend is chicken. Oh gosh. I'll go with you. Oh my god. Can、yes. you please? I mean, I was George, scared,、Sula. but it was really fun. Okay. Because I want my boyfriend. But it's really fun. Okay. All right. So, did you guys get all of them correct?、Mm-hmm. You guys can also make your own sentences. You can even write a story about them. But of course, you can always tell your parents. Can we go to Dublin? Oh my gosh!、Uh, Maybe your like, mom and dad will say, "Oh, we also want to go." Okay, sure. Let's go. Let's pack your family、bags. trip. Yes, right. Okay. But that's all the time that we have for today. We hope you guys enjoyed the article, and we'll see you very soon. Bye, Arlen. Arlen, potato. Magic box. Hello, hello, 各位好吗？回去有没有好好的复习，用功读书啊？话说啊，哎，某一次我去国外的超市买东西，听到旁边有位同乡的妇女哦，正在尝试跟这个店员说话。我还记得呢，她说 ，I want a rice. Thank you. 当下我啊，就看见店员这样一脸疑惑。好了，我当然知道他是想要买米，但是 ，a rice 是不是哪里怪怪的、啊？同学们，你们知道这位妇女应该要怎么说才对吗？哎，其实啊，通常米 rice 是不会有人这样子数一粒一粒的去买的，所以呢，也不会用 a rice two rices 这样子去表达的。rice 也就是一种。不可数的名词哦，当遇到这些不可数的名词，该怎么去计算计量呢？这时候啊，你就可以使用各种搭配这些不可数名词的单位量词喽。像是通常呢，有一啊、呃、米呢，就是一包一包的装着嘛。你可以说 a bag of rice。那如果呢，它今天是用盒子啊，或是箱子装的，你就能说 a box of rice 来表达哦。所以啊，其实单位量词基本上呢，都是跟装这样物品的容器是有关系的。再举一些例子好了 ，I bought a carton of milk and a slice of pizza for lunch。哎呀，今天中午呢，我真的因为赶着上课啊，来不及做饭，所以呢就随性的买了一盒牛奶跟一片披萨，裹裹肚子，裹裹胃啦。哎，偶尔吃这些东西也是非常美味哦。好啦 ，milk 同样是不可数的名词，盒装的牛奶 ，a carton of milk。披萨呢会切成一片一片的，所以我们可以说 a slice of pizza。切片呢，同样可以用在像是面包啊，或是蛋糕上面哦。A slice of bread, a slice of cake。当然，一片蛋糕，你说 a piece of cake 也是没有问题的哦。哎呀，在这个乡下地方，取水真的是不容易哎。I need to walk to the river to get a bucket of water。哎，必须走到这个河边才能取得一桶水耶。还好啊，有了饮水机之后，想喝水呢就能非常轻易的取得啦。A glass of water 取得这一杯水。如果想喝茶呢，哎，热水一按，马上呢就能做出 a cup of tea， 哎，一杯的茶哦。同学们知道，孔子我也其实很爱自己下厨。每当一道菜完成的时候 ，I like to add a drop of sesame oil on it。最后呢，我就喜欢这样画龙点睛，在上面滴上一滴芝麻油，嗯，非常完美。好啦，这样子下次遇到不可数的名词，知道怎么用英文去表达它的计量方式了吗 ？OK， 那我们就下次见喽，拜拜。